We are on the 4560 sailing from uh, Primoštan towards Wis. And what a beautiful day. We have 17 knots of Mistral wind. And we are averaging uh, like eight and, eight and a half knots. We have wind from the side, perfect conditions. I've been on the catamarans mostly now for the last couple of years. And it's actually super fun to be back on the monohulls. Maybe not so comfortable, but definitely this is, uh, it's much more fun sailing. I still love catamarans, but for a change, uh, this is actually really fun. This in front of us. So we left for Goznica and there's 30 miles to this. We'll go to Komija, a beautiful place. And with this speed, we're gonna be there in an hour and a half. Just amazing. And this boat flies. I mean, this is a passage maker. This is a, I mean, it's stable. It's, a, it's sailing very comfortably. But okay, we have perfect conditions. We have moored here in Komija on Island Vis, and this is a beautiful place. I really love coming here. And the sailing was just a beautiful. We had this beautiful day wind and the boat. I mean, I just love it. I love it. I haven't been on the monohulls for so long. It just brings uh, good memories back. And what a nice sail we had. And this town, one of the nicest in Croatia. We're gonna go just across there for a dinner. It's a very good fish restaurant. And just look at this beauty. The boat really feels solid. Uh, it's very comfortable. But this is a big boat. This is a Dufour 560. So this is a serious boat. And it sailed really well. We had a really good speed. We were averaging over seven knots all the time. And I mean, even eight knots and more average at the beginning. And uh, it's very nice. These are the traditional Falkusha traditional fishing vessel very good for heavy seas and that's what they used here for fishing this is the restaurant for tonight right here on this terrace so this is a restaurant barba and this beautiful location our boat is down there on the pier this is the old town of Komija I just love this place it's authentic and beautiful. And this is this restaurant on a terrace. This is the octopus salad. What a place. This place is just amazing. And this wine, this is the best in the world. This is, this is just, uh, it's just an incredible wine. We're now leaving uh, Komija and we're gonna go alongside of the Vis. This is the entrance to the Stiniva beach. There's these beautiful cliffs and you can do cliff jumping from here. Our boat is just down there. This is the entrance we came through. Our boat is down there on the buoy. This is the best barbecue you can have. You can use the real wood. And that's how fish is done in this area. We have docked here in uh, Lastovo. This is Krivena Luka. And this is the pier. You can reserve this place, get electricity and water. And down there is a restaurant, Porto Rosso. Very good place to eat. So it's a huge deck. The boat looks very solid, feels solid. We have a... Uh, button mainsail which is really good because I don't like furling mainsails 
it's just not efficient. And we have a furling Genoa. And this boat also has an option of uh, self-tacking, but luckily we don't have it because I don't really like it. It's not good for performance, so we have just a, a normal Genoa, which is super good. We have this huge shade. It's kind of cool, but again, you don't see much because it's too low. And these screens, if you close them, they're always dirty and you don't see well through. So the visibility overall is really poor. So you have to watch out for the fishing nets. And then this dinghy is in front. So really bad visibility from the helm. So when you're sitting here, see you don't see really well because there's a dinghy. And even if there's no dinghy, if you close this spray hood, you don't see much. And then from the side, it's a little bit better. The height of these, uh, you know, tops, it's always, it's always too low, so I would always put this a little bit higher. And even if you're standing up here, there's uh, zero visibility forward. So that's a really bonus for the catamarans, because on the catamarans you really see well. You're a little bit higher up. And then a sitting area. And this one here can turn into a, a double bed. And I really like this place behind. It's a big area for sun bathing. You can lay down. And the very good thing is we have this uh, hydraulic. So we have a huge salon. There's also a sitting area behind, but we have these cushions. And then another sitting area, char table, we have a fridge, micro oven, water uh, ice maker, and the kitchen itself, it's, uh, it's pretty decent, it's pretty good. And then forward we have uh, two cabins, uh, this is one, and they're maybe a little bit narrow, I mean this is the 56 footer monohull and this is a little bit narrow. This is more like for one person on, or maybe two kids. And uh, here's one bathroom, which is, you know, it's okay, could be bigger. And then another cabin, which is uh, just the same. Again, you know, very small for a 56 footer. And just another bathroom, the same size. It's okay for smaller people, but for bigger people, you'll prefer having a catamaran. I like it because the boat is very high and here we have this stupid step which I don't like because you know if you're not used to this you're gonna crash sooner or later and again here when I'm standing the height is good enough so thumbs up and then going backwards you have two steps again which is really bad because if you're not used to them you're probably gonna fall so these are the two steps here and also here going down to the cabin so the back cabins are much bigger, this bed is really wide and again, I mean, this cabin could be bigger for the size of the boat, it could be longer. And then here is, uh, so this uh, toilet has two doors, which is kind of cool, it's a little bit bigger than front uh, toilets, but still kind of small for the catamaran. And then on the other side, so the cabin is the same size, these beds are really wide, but they could be, this cabin could be longer. And then this one seems like to be the biggest bathroom, so it looks like, you know, a kind of a shower. So my first impression would be, I mean, it's a nice boat. This area is really big here, you can fit many people, but cabins itself are really small for the 56 footer. And, uh, I mean, this boat for eight adults, it's not gonna work. Because the front cabins are not good for two adults. And it's a 56 footer. I mean, this boat has this storage behind. And that's how you lose uh, around two meters from the inside cabins. Which is a very nice storage, you can put a small dinghy. Have loads of stuff, but you're gonna lose the area in the cabins. And this area here. It feels nice. It feels like a real monohull. If you compare to the catamaran, 
I kind of miss this area, especially when you are, not when sailing, when sailing this boat feels much more you know, sporty, you feel the waves, the elements, the winds, it's kind of fun. On the catamaran you would have much more comfort, but when you're sitting in a, on a dock, like we are here, I would always take a monohull. I don't know why, it just feels much better sitting here. You're much more connected with the environment. On the catamaran, maybe it feels like an apartment too much. Porto Rosso restaurant, and a beautiful location, and really good food here. And very nice tables just next to the water. And our boat is just down there. So I recommend to come here. Tomato soup, Croatian uh, fish soup. It's a lighthouse and it's just above these beautiful cliffs. So we are leaving Lastovo now. Oh, what a beautiful island. A real paradise. We stopped on Lastoniaci, it's an island just uh, next to Lastovo, but we'll have to go because the day winds have started. Otherwise, this is uh, Saplun, it's a beautiful place. It's a very nice lagoon for swimming. We have docked in Mljet. It's a very nice bay. We're here on the moorings in front of Konoba Antica. This is a very good restaurant. It's the best one here. Really good stuff. And a very nice place. And from here we can go up to national parks, to the lakes, which is uh, something you really should visit. And you can also anchor in this bay Unfortunately, we have this big boat next to us. This is Antica restaurant. It's on a beautiful location. Really good food here. And our boat is just down. This is the best traditional food, Pekka. A vegetable soup, seafood salad, octopus salad. And worldwide specialty, French fries, chicken and rice, universal specialty. Ville under the bell, this is a local Croatian specialty. I'm gonna name this cake a Boris chocolate cake and it's an amazing cake. It's a fruit salad and this was an amazing chocolate ice cream. This is Island Mlet and we just crossed here to Pilešac, which is actually a mainland and this is a beautiful lighthouse here we have stopped in this beautiful bay just next to Juliana on Pelešac Island and what an amazing place it's the first time I'm here it's just a place that's off the charts that you don't usually go it's an amazing place a great anchorage even for the big boats a beautiful place. Our ding is sleeping on the beach and a boat is down there waiting for us. Probably could call this a paradise. Just look at this. I just love this car. It's actually a very old Volkswagen Transporter, but it's a pickup version, and I've really never seen this before. I just love it. Paradise. Says Yanmar. And I love Yanmar. These are just the best engines you can get for the boat. And probably it's the same company. I think it's a Japanese company. And this machine is gonna go forever. Another interesting car, it's Škoda Elix. I've never seen a car like this. It's a pickup version, but I kind of like it. it could use some maintenance.
We have anchored in front of Badia Island. This is just next to the Korchul Island, which is uh, down there. And it's a beautiful anchorage with a beautiful water. Very close to Korchula. You can take a water taxi just five minutes to the old town of Korchula, where Marco Polo was born. A beautiful, one of my favorite towns in Croatia. We're sailing now through Korchula Channel. So this is island Korchula and this is the peninsula Peleshats and the day wind Maestral, which picks up around 12, 1 o'clock usually, goes until sunset. You know, just squeezes through here so it accelerates a lot. And down there, it's a vegan, it's a very popular place. It's actually the second best place in Croatia for windsurfing. I just love this place, it's unreal. You have to walk down to this beach so it's not too crowded or come with a boat. And then the cliffs up there are just amazing. Beautiful rocks, very unique. A beautiful place, very special place, unique to Croatia. We are on Hvar, this is Uvala Pribinja. And we go to one of my favorite restaurants, Arsenal. One of my favorite places to come. Really good food, a great ambient. A beautiful view. Arsenal. Beautiful tables. And what a nice bay this is. And the best fish and the best grill. We are now in uh, Vis, in the Vis town. Our boat is here on a buoy and we go to one of the best restaurants, Poyoda. A beautiful restaurant, Poyoda. These are the fabulous starters you can get here. A tuna fish, but a really good one. This is a specialty, this is a shark in a kind of vine sauce. And it's, I mean, it's much better to eat shark than the shark eat you. This is uh, Swiss chard and we love Swiss chard. It's what we eat in Croatia all the time. And of course, there should always be a mixed salad and a good glass of rosé. And we drink this sparkling water, it's called the Amnica. And this is a local thing, we love it. Homemade apple pie with ice cream, chocolate ice cream, and the special local fig cake. Finally, some proper sailing, upwind, 15 knots of wind, full speed, full sails. That's what we're looking for. Full sails, they're a little bit old and stretched and the halyard should be tensioned more and... Uh, but anyway, it's a great sailing. It's not racing, but it's super fun. And this is what you don't get on the catamarans. Sailboats, upwind sailing, that's fun. Winds are gonna pick up today. So we have one more hour, hour and a half to get across to the mainland to avoid a big waves developing. 